Welcome to Noah Guy Bicycles, hanging out with the guy series. Hi, I'm Justin, the guy. So, we're going to do some polishing. Um, working on this frame, just inspected it and cleaned it, and i um, ready to do some detailing to it. So, um, going to try to get some of these chips and scratches out, and I just picked the worst section, which is this uh, seat stay on the non-drive side as well as the down tube, there's a couple spots here. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of detailing. Um, first, before I dive into that, I'm gonna go through what I use. Um, I use the Adams Polish um, polishes. Um, they're local to Colorado. They do a lot of auto detailing. If you go on their website, it's all auto stuff, which is fine, um, because they have a lot of good products for that, but they also have awesome products for this. Got this turned on to from a, a, um, a car detailer himself, and uh, he gave me some samples and showed me some tricks, what he does on cars, and I was able to transform that over into doing bikes and detailing there. So, and I've added a little extra to kind of, you know, clean it up and, you know, make the frames look as best as they can be. And sometimes I can get those the frames to look better than they were when they're off the showroom floor. So when we're like building bikes, um, we polish them. We use a little bit of a light polish and a rag, and that's it. And uh, but the, the bikes don't get any more detail than that when they're new. Um, here, I use the compound um, from Adams, and that actually helps reduce and cut down the scratches and so forth. And I use this as the liquid for like wet sanding and that kind of thing. That really helps out. And from a finishing product, I use the um, the polish from them. It has a yeah, a fruit and um, kind of like a vanilla -y scent, which is kind of, you know, inviting. Anyway, <laughs> so what I use for pads, I have a couple, like a very aggressive Brillo pad to really cut into areas only if I need to, very slim, then kind of like a scotch Bright pad um, in addition to. Then I, then I move on to um, the 3000 grit, and then there's also the, the compound um, applicator. Also, this is kind of like a still wool type, and this really helps uh, buff a lot of those little micro scratches out that you can't see. Then lastly, I use the, um, the, the polishing applicator, and I do the little elbow grease with a, with a uh, fiber cloth there. So yeah, um, that's the products that I use, and I uh, dive into it. So. Let's get to it.
So here's our final product after the polish and buffing. Let's see if it really brought out some of that shine. And the areas of the chips, they're still there. Obviously you just can't get rid of those, but for the most part, you know, it makes them less noticeable and it is a little more clean. So definitely makes the bike a lot more appealing. And also this gives me the opportunity to go through the whole frame and see if there's any kind of damage. In this case, it's just chip paints and scratches, but I got most of all the little scratches out and it's just remaining as the, the chips, so. There we go. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this, go to subscribe on my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page or go to my website, I know a guy bicycles.com and put yourself on an email list. That'd be awesome. Until next time, thank you for spending the time with me.